Hey everyone, it's me again, and I'm back with another figure review. This time I'm reviewing the Storm Collectibles Juri Han from Street Fighter V. Well, it's her look in Street Fighter V. And today is actually Juri's birthday, um, the day that I'll be posting this, January 1st. So what better way to celebrate than reviewing this awesome figure? I was super excited when this figure got announced because in my opinion Juri is the best character in the entire Street Fighter franchise. I just think she has like the coolest move set, the coolest backstory, the coolest character designs, everything. Um, my favorite character design of hers is probably the Street Fighter 4 one with the jacket. But this Street Fighter 5 look is really cool as well. And I'm glad that we actually got this one because I think Storm Collectibles really pulled off this design perfectly. So let's start with a quick look at the box. On the front, it has her character select pose, I guess. And it says Street Fighter V Champion Edition with Jury on the front. And then on the side, it has another picture of her. On the back, it, this part is actually cool. It has like her stats and stuff from the game uh, in Japanese, but I can make out some of them, I guess. But yeah, so it's kind of cool. It has like her stats on the back and then the same picture on the other side and then you have the top and the bottom of the box and yeah it's a pretty cool box nice window packaging um when i got it i actually had no idea what the box looked like so it was a nice surprise so getting right into the sculpt you can see that they they really painted and sculpted all of these details really nicely even the little ones like her zipper and the design on her eye patch the little rubber band things i think on her hair Everything is done. Oh, her nails are done. Her fingernails and her toenails are painted. Um, I actually painted mine for this video. Um, yeah, she just looks really good. Everything is done really nicely. And the articulation, it doesn't like cut up the figure that much. So that's also really nice. So getting into the articulation, she has a swivel at the head. Um, a bit of a hinge. It's not that much though. She has universal articulation at her shoulders. Her arms can lift pretty high and they can go forward and back. She has a swivel at the bicep. She has a double joint at the elbow, looks pretty good. And she has universal articulation at her wrist. Um, I really like it because it's not like super tight or super loose. She has a diaphragm joint that rotates. I forgot to show it in here, but it does rotate really well. Um, the chest piece is actually soft which is really cool because it allows for the diaphragm joint to go back and forward farther um, without, you know, scratching the plastic or scratching the paint off. And then she basically has the same thing at the waist, which is really nice. She has good hip articulation. This middle piece here is actually soft as well, which is really cool. So she can move her legs forward and back and then they go out a lot. I actually popped the leg off right there. Um, but no worries, it pops back on. That's actually kind of a thing with this figure. Um, so yes, it does go out a lot, which is good because Jerry does do Taekwondo and has a bunch of like really cool kicks. So you'll definitely be able to pull off some really cool kicking poses. She has a little bit of a thigh swivel that's built into the hip. Um, they didn't give her like an actual thigh swivel because, well, I'm assuming it's because it would cut up the sculpt, which I have no problem with because, you know, it looks really nice without it. And then she has a double jointed knee, which looks pretty good. And it has a good range of motion. And then again, no ankle swivel either, um, because that would cut up the sculpt as well. Um, and I'm fine with that. It's not too big of a deal. I mean, it would be nice if it had one, but it, you know, it would cut up the sculpt. So I'd prefer it to not have one. So the sculpt remains like really clean. But, and then at the ankle, she has a rocker and then a hinge and she also has the toe articulation and that's basically it for the articulation so it's really good you know storm collectibles um they killed it again this is actually my first storm collectibles figure and they're making a great impression moving on to accessories she comes with four pairs of hands including the ones that come on her in the box they're all painted super nicely so she has these cool fist hands she has these relaxed looking hands she has these like wide open hands. And then these ones are my favorite. These are like a kind of like style pose hands. And then moving on, she comes with two extra heads. Now, 
this is so cool because instead of giving like different face plates they actually just gave us two different heads which both have the same soft hair and they look really nice they're painted really well so i forgot to mention this earlier but her eyes are actually painted really well too they're like that cool purple or magenta color so yeah the first head obviously the one that comes on her in the box is like this neutral expression um the light is kind of harsh i'll show kind of what it looks like without intense light it looks super good it's super accurate um and then the next one is a smiling face with the eye patch on and then last but not least we have her smiling with the eye patch off this is when she uses her feng shui engine alpha um, it's her v trigger one in the game and then the last thing she comes with which is super cool is her dp which is her tensenrin or her um, pinwheel, as a lot of people call it. It's the move where she jumps in the air and spins around like a pinwheel. So it's really cool. It's like the effect that comes up, I guess. And I haven't tried putting it on yet, but I will show some pictures of it on. I think it has like this um, piece where you connect her foot and then there's like an extra part. I don't know, I'll figure it out and then I'll show you in the pictures. <laughs> but yeah, super cool looking effect. It's really big too. Um, and it should look really awesome. It does look really cool in the promo images on the website Here are some images for size comparisons. I have her next to some JJK SH figure arts and some other figures some more SH figure arts that I have and With that, I guess I'll just give my final thoughts on the figure um, I think I have a new favorite figure in my collection. I was super excited when this first got announced, I instantly pre-ordered it, and when I got it, I actually just waited a couple days because I just wasn't ready to open it. I actually recorded myself unboxing it. Um, I just, I, it was just, I don't know, I wasn't ready for it, you know? And when I opened it, I was just so happy, so excited. Um, they finally made my favorite Street Fighter character in an articulated form. First Storm Collectibles figure. Um, this was an amazing one to start off with. I definitely want to get some of the King of Fighters figures and the Tekken figures. And yeah, this figure is just an honor to have. You know, there's nothing nothing quite like the feeling when, you know, you're into action figures and they finally make your favorite character. Like, Jury is literally one of my favorite characters of all time, just in anything. Because, like, Taekwondo and stuff. Taekwondo is, like, my favorite martial art. And yeah, she's just so cool. And I'm glad that they finally made... An awesome figure for her it was long overdue and we finally got it so if you're a fan of Street Fighter I would definitely suggest you pick up this figure and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the review so I guess I'll say chalga which means goodbye in Korean since uh, Jerry's Korean I hope I didn't butcher that but hey I tried <laughs> I guess I'll say kamsabnida for watching the video as well um, if you liked it make sure to leave a like and subscribe it's really appreciated it really helps out the channel if you want to see more videos make sure to hit that bell icon if you want to see more reviews i have more coming so if you like my reviews stay tuned um and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all next time